Hi folks, Kyle here from GoldmanAgency.com. See, I want to show you a little tip that not a lot of folks know about, but it can help you reduce debt quickly. Um, first of all, most people have savings, checking, an auto loan, a mortgage, or a credit card. Um, a bank usually pays 1 to 2, 3% if you're lucky on savings. Uh, personal checking usually don't get any interest, and they usually charge 5, 6, 7, 10 on up when it comes to mortgage, auto loans, credit cards. Um, basically this is how it works. So you have your savings and your checking and what the bank gets to do with the money sitting in your checking and your savings, they get to float this. And with that money they get a 9 to 1 leverage, sometimes even greater. So for every hundred dollars the bank has they can loan out a thousand dollars. And with that money they create mortgages, um, auto loans, credit cards, and so forth and that's how they can charge that that percentage so that's how the banks making most of their money now you can reverse this process it is pretty simple um, you do have to be on top of your finances you can use Microsoft Excel to plug in all the dates uh, your bills are due you want to pay your bills as late as possible but you do want to get them paid and that's to take all the money from your checking say you have a credit card that has uh, quite a bit of debt on it you can take all the money in your checking put it in your credit card and then as late as possible pay your bills out of your credit card and what this does is it takes the money that was just sitting in your checking uh, that the bank is floating and you technically are throwing it in your credit card reducing the balance owed which reduces your interest over time so you're killing that interest that, uh, that the credit card company is accruing over time um, to do this with the mortgage or auto loan is a little different you need what's called an open end line of credit uh, with a with a mortgage, usually it'd be a home equity line of credit or a HELOC. And what you do is you take most of that money, throw it into your mortgage, your auto loan, and then uh, you do get a debit card and checks with your line of credit usually. And you treat this like your checking account. You put your paychecks, uh, your monthly income into your line of credit, and you pay everything out of there just like you would with the credit card scenario. So uh, once again, you can set this up in Microsoft Excel you do have to be on top of your finances so this is something you do at your own risk but uh, it can help you out substantially and cut your mortgage payments in half your credit card uh, payments in half you can get that debt paid and build equity a lot quicker so hope this tips helps you hope this tip helps you if you have any questions please email me at Kyle